now to the other major story in California, that deadly mass shooting in a bar. We're now learning more about the 12 people killed, some of them as they were trying to save lives. 18 people were also injured, and we want you to take a look. Hundreds, hundreds waiting in line to donate blood for those who were injured. Kena Whitworth is there in Thousand Oaks with more. Good morning, Kena. Robin, good morning. The sheriff saying that this could have been so much worse if not for the heroes inside that bar and grill. But for those who didn't make it, their families, friends, and this community is mourning. And today, one mother is calling for action. This morning, newly obtained cell phone video shows what happened in those terrifying moments when the former Marine stormed a popular country music bar, shooting everything in his path. Six endless seconds of eerie silence between rounds. Class one, go, he's coming out this door. 12 killed, including a sheriff's deputy. Hours after the shooting, the FBI arriving at the home of the shooter, Ian David Long. He lived here with his mother. These images on Facebook show Long in what appears to be happier times, but police confirming they responded to a disturbance at Long's home in April. He was somewhat irate, acting a little irrationally, felt he might be suffering from PTSD, basing that the fact he was a veteran. This morning, we're learning more about the victims. Jason Kaufman spoke to his son Cody as the 22 year old was on his way to the bar. First thing I said was please don't drink and drive. Last thing I said was son, I love you. That was the last thing I said. A few hours later, he learned the devastating news. I just want him to know that he, he is gonna be missed. 18-year-old Elena Housley, a freshman at Pepperdine University, enjoying a night out with friends, line dancing, when she was gunned down. She is the niece of Sister Sister star Tamara Mowry Housley. The actress writing on Instagram, my sweet Elena, my heart breaks. I'm still in disbelief. It's not fair how you were taken, how soon you were taken from us. Zach Fry and Tyler Odenkirk say two of their friends who worked as security guards at Borderline are among the dead. I know that they they did everything that they could in their final moments. We were told one of them uh, was he went out a hero. He, he went out fighting the shooter. One of their friends, Telemachus Orfanos, an Eagle Court and Navy veteran who survived the Las Vegas massacre, only to be killed at borderline. His mother now pleading for change. And I don't want prayers. I don't want thoughts. I want gun control and I hope to God nobody else sends me any more prayers. I want gun control. No more guns. And sheriff's deputies around the country mourning the loss of Ron Helis, a 29 year veteran of the force who was killed when he tried to confront the shooter. Sergeant Helis was having a conversation with his wife on the phone as he does several times during the shift and said to her, hey, I got to go handle the call. I love you. I'll talk to you later. Overnight, a heartbroken community coming together as they try to make sense of the unthinkable. Authorities saying he did purchase the gun legally, a 45 caliber Glock, but adding that it had an extended magazine. And people I spoke with said the sound of those gunshots will keep them up at night. And still, Robin, this morning, authorities searching for a motive. How do you make sense of the senseless? Yeah. All right, Kana, thank you so much. And as we remember the victims, take a look at a procession that's held for the hero sheriff's deputy, Sergeant Ron Helis, who was among the first to arrive on the scene and run toward danger. He exchanged gunfire with the shooter, helping save some of the hundreds of people inside that bar. Helis was a 29-year veteran of the force. The sheriff said he was looking to retire in the next year or so, and he leaves behind a wife and a son. The sheriff saying he was a cop's cop, and we miss him. We miss him already, and we're in mourning as an agency. We're in mourning as a community, and our prayers are definitely with everyone there. Yeah, he did not hesitate at all to go in and do no, his duty. No. No. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.